Agricultural Bank of Namibia's Agri-Advisory Services Division offers training to farmers and bank clients in various farming enterprises in all 14 regions of Namibia through face-to-face -face sessions. The AgriLearn online platform will share production content on various agriculture farming enterprises to build the knowledge of farmers from all walks of life. Join us as we embark on this virtual journey towards sustainable farming as we zoom into the basics of farm infrastructure. Good day, farmers. I am John Fenter. I'm a livestock mentor from Agri-Advisor Service Division Agribank, and I want to talk to you about the water demand and water supply program on the farm. It is a, a supply of good, reliable, good cleaning water. It is very important, it is critical for your farming enterprise. In the prolonged dry season throughout the year, it highlights this value of this precious resource. And so you need to water for your, for your stock, you need water for your garden, you need water for domestic use, and you need water for draft planning. So knowing your water resource is important for planning for your whole, to inform the whole planning of your farming business. It's planning for draft and it's planning for the upgrade of your infra, water infrastructure. How much water do I need on my farm? When I calculate the needs of the, of the water, I have to consider the following. I consider about the future demand, I consider about draft, I consider about the quality of the water and the available water resources. So now I should think about how does, how many water does I need on my farm? And I should think about how many water does I need for my livestock? How many water does I need for my garden? How many water does I need for my domestic use for my homestead? And how many water do I need for reserves? So now I have to calculate and do the determination of how many water do I want for my animals. And so a cattle drink about 40 to 50 liters water per day. And the small stock sheep and goats drink plus minus five to six liters water per day. So if you do the calculation with cattle, and maybe you have 50 cattle on the farm, if 50 multiply 50 will give you 2,500 liters water that you need for your large stock per day. And when you look at your small stock, and maybe you've got 100 sheep, 100 goats multiply six, will give you another 600 liters per day. So when you look at your domestic use, normally in the rural areas, we talk about 40 liters of water is needed for the domestic use per person on the farm. And when you look at for crop spraying crop, you need spraying crops to get sufficient water on a regular basis. And therefore on a daily basis, you have to water them. And then you it's between 20 to 200 liters water per day that you need. So you can make your calorie yourself. And when you give in the garden water with a, with a, with a tap, and the running tap will plus minus run for 15 liters water per minute. So you can do the calculations. But you also think about your future demand. And future demand is when you have a little bit of cattle now and you want to increase your animal numbers, then you need more water. And also you should think about if you're expanding your crop production, and then you also you need more water. And, but infrastructure from water is very expensive. And therefore, it's better to start in the beginning when you design a water plan, then to put in everything in place and add some more and make sure that your reservoirs, your dams, and your water tanks is big enough and that your bottle also, the water pump that you've inside your, your water pump, your water bottle is big enough to give you enough water for your, for your demand and for your needs. We also think about the peak demand. Now, peak demand is on some stages of the day. All the cattle is coming to the water point and drinking some water. And it's important that you have enough water in the peak demand. So the cannabis will not come there and there's not enough water there. If there's not enough water, they will damage your water trough, they will damage your float valve, they will damage your pipelines, and they will damage your infrastructure. So make sure you have enough water. When you're planning for about draft, you shall also consider maybe you're in your planning for maybe destocking and take the animals away from the farm to make sure you have enough water. Whenever we look at your reserves, 
you should be make sure that you have enough water and enough reserve water that's pretty, that your reservoir is big enough to hold water for at least 10 to 40 days. And in this for 10 to 40 days, if there come a breakdown in your bottle, then you can have 10 days to 14 days to make the maintenance on and to repair it on the, to get it back. So you have to determine the sizes of your dams and yet sometimes come the problems. <clears throat> when I want to replace my dam with water tanks, I have to do the calculation. The water reservoir, the dam, keep plus minus 120,000 liters of water, but the water tank only keeps 10,000 liters of water. So if you replace it, then you need 12 water tanks to replace the, the water reservoir. So you have to make sure that in the beginning in your design that everything is in place and you make space that you get enough water for your future demand. So I will summarize what is important for you. The first, you have to look at your bottle. You should know the, uh, the, the, the bottle, you know how much water bottle can deliver for you. If the bottle can't not deliver the, your needs, then maybe you have to decrease your animal numbers so it can match, your stocking rate match with the water is available. And also if your garden, you have to make your garden smaller so it can match with the available, availability of the water. You can't exceed the limit of your bottle. <clears throat> the other thing that you also should uh, think about with the water tanks is that you should make sure there's enough water in place for the 10 to 40 days. So in any draft planning is also very important and the peak uh, demand is very important and it's for you important to think about your future demand. So to design your whole water plan. Thank you. That's it for now. Join us next time for more valuable insight. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to avoid missing out on new content. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages for more content.